Hello, I'm back on my sofa and I'm cozying up for the weekend. I've got my lovely plush dressing gown on with the hood and I've got my Gudrun Johnson Shetland Spindrift hat on. Well, it's purples and colours. It matches in with my dressing gown. And I've got my electric blanket. Yes, we're expecting snow this weekend. From Friday afternoon through to Saturday. And yes, we've just had a shower of hail. So it's coming. I almost thought I could have put my sparkly purple gloves on that I've got that I've had for many years, vintage ones. Um, but I didn't get them out and it's a bit difficult to knit with. Um, I'm catching up with what I've done this week with you. And it's not been an awful lot, but we've done quite well. Uh, first of all, the sideways cardigan. Well, yeah, it's coming along. And I found a ball of the fluorescent yarn and what I've managed to do now is finish off the body of the cardigan as you can see it's all joined up let's just hold this out so there's the cardigan body what I've done on the shoulders is a bit of short rows and I joined it together with a knitted row in the sense that I got two needles together and then with a third needle I um, did a knit two together and then cast off stitch all the way along. There is a name for it. And I can't think of it at the moment. I'm sure somebody out there will tell me. So then I've still got the needles in this. I've worked down, picked up the stitches around the armhole and worked down in stocking stitch in the blue and then finished off in the patterning, the mosaic pattern and the fluorescent edging. I'm going to cast off here. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So then I'll do exactly the same on the other side. So it'll be more of a three quarter sleeve because I think I've only got a certain amount of the Aspen, which is that colour, left. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. It's coming along and I've just done a simple knitted row around the neckline and cast off. That's all I did. Nothing extreme, just simple. Am I going to do anything around the edges? No, I will probably leave it as is. I'll probably have give it a light press because as, as I often tell you, I always knit a garter stitch on the row on a pearl row so you get a bump I always do that so then that gives you an edging all the way around you don't have to add another edging to it it's already done much like on this side I've just finished on the bump row cast off on a bump row and that gives that bump edge um, when I cast on, it had a bump edge because I do use the thumb method. Long tail thumb method. So that's that one. So yeah, I've got a bit left there that will probably do that other sleeve. If I'm stuck, then I've got what I've got left is... Uh, to unravel the rest of that that's so that will that will do it i did uh, i've done a little bit more on the sophie scarf i'm on the decrease rows now this is just the short one so 
So that's that. So the sideways cardigan is coming along and I'm happy with it. It's it's fulfilling what I'd hoped in my head, it pictured in my mind what I might do with it. So that's good. Now, um, I haven't done any more on leaners just yet. That will be probably coming next week when I'm, um, when I've finished doing this. Now, this I'd started a long time ago and hadn't done any more on it. But when I showed it up last week, I thought, I think I went into town the following day and I got a couple more balls of the, um, Shetland spin drift. So I got some this one which is what I'm knitting on now, which is called Popuri. And this one, which is a kind of a mal heathered one, which is called um ooh, Loganberry. So I added that to my little collection and I've got some uh, some others left in here, little bits, etc. Not much, but a little. In fact, that's as much as I've got left of a coral one. So, what I did was, this is where I started with a lace edging at the neckline. And I've worked down in Fair Isle increasing as a go using my calculations for a circular yoke then i've got to a point where i ran out of that color can't remember what that color is if you look on my ravelry page you'll find all the colors i've used on this fair isle um collar and then i changed at this point from fair isle to mosaic knitting so i've gone down in a slightly different way carrying down a stitch just getting too um too many stitches on now so you can just about see when i'm carrying down a stitch and each um every now and again i increase so i'm up now to um, seven stitches and a slip stitch so that's an eight stitch pattern and what I'm now doing is going back to continue in this lace stitch and I'm going to finish it off in that I'm not going to split for sleeves I am making a sort of a cape so um, it'll be interesting when it's done because it's got quite a wide neck anyway. So I'll go over my head and whatever I've got on underneath, it'll it'll be okay. It won't um, be too tight around my neck. It'll be a nice loose one. So I'm hoping that that will turn out beautifully. It's looking lovely already. I love the colour arrangements. I'm hoping it's coming up. The light is awful today. So we just have to go with the flow, don't we? <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I'm knitting on that today. So I've got a little bit of the green left then for the skirt in chunky. So what I'm doing is, is doing the, not the Fair Isles, uh, the Fisherman's Rib Stitch, but the other one, the Brioche. And I'm going to make this into a headband. Um, probably gather that in when it's joined and put a little um, cover on it. It's gone missing. Ah. So this is just a sample, a sample I did. So I would put something like that around it when it's joined. You never know, I might use that. I don't know. We'll wait till we get to the end. So yes, so I'm in the middle of using up that last little bit to do 
a nice headband. Cozy headband. Cozy, cozy. This is what we're doing today. Cozy, cozy. So, yeah. <clears throat> what I did finish um, in the week was... I'll put a picture of it up here. And it was one of those, ve my very first marling adventures with cones I had been given. And I um, knitted up a long sweater. And I was going to do a... I was going to make it into a cardigan. But what I did in the end was actually join it all together and then what i'm going to do is is put some buttons down the front and it'll just be a jerkin something that you can put over something else um for extra warmth even under a coat it doesn't you don't have a lot of sleevage here that's going to bulk up underneath a jacket or something like that i quite often like to wear a gilet a padded gilet and I might have a couple of um, jumpers on underneath, wool ones, because if it gets cold here, it gets cold. And if you're standing about, you know about it. So <laughs> I quite often layer up. Sometimes I'll wear my um, knitted skirt under another skirt, if it's a skirt day. Trousers, I sometimes wear leggings under jeans. Um, yeah, basically that's the rule of the day if you're living in somewhere like this. And we, you have to understand that although we're at the very tip of um, Scotland, the UK, we are actually on the level between Oslo in Norway and Alaska on the other side. And you know that they're very cold places, but we're luckily quite temperate. Um, we don't get maybe as much as we used to, the snows and the frosts and the ice. I've not seen much of that, but this year it's been pretty cold um, this winter and I've felt it more this winter. Hence my the electric blanket that Malky bought me. To, to to put well the electric throw it's called i haven't got it on at the moment let me just put it on oh it's not switched on at the plug either <laughs> so um i don't always need to put it on but it's quite weighty enough just to give me a bit of to give me a bit of warmth whilst i'm knitting and as you all know as knitters if you've got cold hands it is more difficult to knit. I thought I heard voices. I thought I heard Balky coming back because he's gone out and I'm thinking, oh, it's awful out there. So he might be back soon. So yeah, so I've not done an awful lot. I've still got the November jacket to finish. The November jacket looks as if it's going to be finished in January. I've done nothing more on it since I showed it you last. That's it. That's it as it is at the moment. Anyway. I'm going to go and make myself a brew in a minute. A cup of tea. Yeah, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. I hope you have a nice weekend and have some time off to do some knitting. Um, and hopefully I'll see you again next week with a few more bits that I've finished over the, over the coming days, over the holiday period. Um, yeah, I might give myself a few days off <laughs> and do some knitting. Yeah, so that's all I've got to tell you today. It's a bit brief, isn't it? But, you know, I can't... I haven't really got that much to tell you because we did we did about 10 days, didn't we? 
10 days of little knitting podcasts, knit pods as I called them. I don't know if I'll do that again. It's quite intense, but I did enjoy doing that. And then you've got an hour and a half doing a recap from start to finish of each week. So you've got two of those. So there is plenty to look at. I've been doing a little bit more on my um, housekeeping, shall we say, in the sense of video housekeeping and teaching myself a few things. So I'm hoping that um, if you've not seen me before, hello, my name's Claire and I live in Orkney and I talk about my um, lifestyle in Orkney and what I like to knit and sometimes the rare breeds and the interesting yarns that you can find in Orkney and that are easily available even online. Um, yeah, I talk about my life and Sometimes I take you on a little trip around the islands where I live. So keep stopping by and um, find out what I'm doing. I've been having a little um, peek at the uh, spring summer 2025 knitting trends. Why 2025 and not next year? I am always a year ahead of myself. When in the in the fashion trade, you're always well ahead because you have to be. And therefore, I've got some exciting trends to look at. And in the new year, I'm going to do a little um, episode on my Pinterest board. I think the Pinterest board is up, my Pinterest account is up on my channel um, links. So have a look there um, because I've been saving a few things for 2025 and uh, the colours for 2025. And so I've started a little wish list of what coloured yarns I would like to get. Um yeah it's very interesting i i do that at this time of year and um at hopefully next week all being well i shall um do the video on what i knitted in 2023 because what i knitted in 2023 is my collection of garments in 2024 you see because it takes a long time to knit you all know that it's not a quick job do, is it I seem to throw them off my needles quite a bit but I've had more time to do that now I'm finding that more difficult because I'm actually doing some work now and plus that makes it more difficult for me to sit down and do a video or at night time I'm, I'm sat with my needles and that's when I tend to do the majority of my knitting now I have to sort of um, push that slightly to the back burner and concentrate on what I have to do on an admin basis so yeah I'm a busy bee a busy knitting bee. Anyway, as I said, enjoy yourselves over the weekend. Have a lovely holiday. Um, and I will see you again, hopefully next week, with another little video. If you want to see something that was really special to me this year, I'd love you to go to episode 13 because that's a special video that I did on 
making a garment out of sheep's fleece from start to finish from washing it to wearing it so click on that one there oh and keep knitting